Chapter 8 The Shadowed City Blackwood and Dr. Wells had traversed the cosmic plane, confronting the Ancient Ones and challenging their malevolent cosmic conspiracy. The blinding burst of energy they had unleashed had shattered the eldritch entities and banished them from the realm, saving their own reality from an unimaginable fate. As they emerged from the cosmic plane, they found themselves back in their own dimension, the familiar surroundings of Blackwood's estate reassuringly intact. The eldritch artifact, which had been the catalyst for their journey, now rested in Blackwood's hands, its power expended. The echoes of eternity, once a deafening crescendo, had faded to a distant whisper, a reminder of the cosmic forces they had faced. Reality had settled back into its familiar patterns, yet the temporal anomalies and rifts between dimensions lingered. Blackwood and Dr. Wells were forever changed by their cosmic odyssey, marked by forbidden knowledge and an understanding of the fragile nature of reality itself. The artifact, once a source of torment, had become a symbol of hope and triumph. In the dimly lit study the two companions stood in contemplation, knowing that their journey was far from over. They had glimpsed the very fabric of existence, and the mysteries of the cosmos beckoned with an irresistible allure. The boundaries between science and the arcane had blurred, and they were now custodians of a profound truth. With a sense of solemn responsibility, they vowed to protect their reality from the echoes of eternity, to safeguard it from the cosmic forces that sought to reshape it. But the cosmic conspiracy that had ensnared them was not the only threat that loomed. The artifact, once an enigma, now held secrets of unimaginable power. Blackwood and Dr. Wells knew that they needed to unravel its mysteries and uncover its true purpose. As they contemplated the enigmatic artifact, they knew that their journey had just begun, and the fate of not only their world but the entire cosmos rested on their shoulders. With the eldritch artifact in their possession, Blackwood and Dr. Wells embarked on a journey of exploration and revelation. The very essence of the artifact seemed to hum with an otherworldly energy, as if it held the keys to cosmic secrets that transcended human comprehension. They delved into their studies, poring over ancient texts, arcane diagrams and esoteric scrolls. Blackwood's vast collection of rare books and relics provided a valuable resource, but they soon realized that the artifact's origins were beyond any terrestrial source. Dr. Wells, with her deep knowledge of the sciences, offered a unique perspective. She believed that the artifact was a gateway, a key to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos. Its power could potentially reveal the hidden truths of existence and the grand tapestry of reality. At last they reached the apex of the tower, a chamber bathed in an eerie, sickly green light. In the center of the room stood a colossal, amorphous being, a grotesque manifestation of otherworldly power. It regarded them with eyes that pulsed like dying stars. Welcome, Samuel Blackwood and Eleanor Wells, it intoned, its voice a cacophony of discordant tones. You have journeyed far to confront us but you must understand that you are mere pawns in a cosmic game, a game played by ancient entities beyond your comprehension. Blackwood and Dr. Wells stood their ground, their resolve unwavering. Blackwood demanded, What is the purpose of this conspiracy? What do you seek to achieve by reshaping reality itself? The entity regarded them with an enigmatic smile. The purpose, Mr. Blackwood, is power and dominion over all of existence, we seek to unravel the very fabric of the universe, to transcend the limitations of time and space. In doing so, we shall become gods among the stars. Dr. Wells stepped forward, her voice steady. You underestimate the resilience of humanity. We will not allow you to impose your will upon the cosmos. We will confront you and your kind, no matter the cost. The entity's laughter reverberated through the chamber, a sound that sent shivers down their spines. Your determination is admirable, but you are powerless to stop what has been set in motion. The cosmic forces have already been set into motion, and there is no turning back. With a wave of its amorphous appendage, the entity summoned forth a cosmic portal that shimmered with eldritch energy. You have a choice, Mr. Blackwood and Dr. Wells. Return to your world, leave this place, and forget the horrors you have witnessed. Or stay and become a part of the grand design. 
transcending mortality. Blackwood and Dr. Wells shared a knowing look. They understood that this was the ultimate test of their resolve. Would they choose to flee this eldritch nightmare, or would they stand against the cosmic conspiracy and face the abyss? The next moments would determine the fate of not only Blackwood and Dr. Wells, but the destiny of the universe itself. As the machine's humming grew louder, the tower around them seemed to respond. The very air became charged with energy. Blackwood and Dr. Wells exchanged anxious glances. Samuel's voice trembled with anticipation. We don't know what awaits us on the other side, Eleanor. Dr. Wells nodded, her eyes locked onto the swirling portal. No, we don't, Samuel, but we have to try. We're the only ones who can stop this cosmic conspiracy. Samuel took a deep breath, clutching the artifact tightly. Agreed. Our world's existence hangs in the balance. The swirling portal grew more chaotic, colors shifting from ethereal blues to otherworldly purples. Shapes and forms danced at its periphery, suggesting a realm of unimaginable complexity. I've made some adjustments to the machine, Dr. Wells said. It should help us traverse the cosmic dimensions more effectively. Brace yourself. With a nod, Samuel leaned closer to the portal. The whispers from the artifact became louder, an incomprehensible chorus of voices from untold realms. He felt as though he was on the precipice of madness, but he couldn't turn back now. The moment arrived. The swirling vortex expanded and drew them in. It was as if they were being pulled through a whirlpool of colors, sensations and dimensions. Time itself seemed to lose meaning. In an instant they emerged into a place that defied all logic and reason. The laws of physics appeared to be mere suggestions in this surreal landscape. A sprawling cityscape stretched before them, its architecture an amalgamation of impossible geometry. Blackwood and Dr. Wells exchanged bewildered glances. Where are we? Samuel wondered aloud. Eleanor examined the surroundings, her eyes filled with amazement and fear. This place... It's unlike anything I've ever seen in any scientific text or arcane tome. It's as though we've transcended our reality and entered another realm entirely. As they ventured further into the city, they encountered entities that defied description. Shape-shifting beings morphed from one grotesque form to another, their existence teetering on the edge of insanity. They were the denizens of this realm, and they regarded Blackwood and Dr. Wells with a mix of curiosity and malevolence. A towering, spectral figure appeared before them, its voice resonating through their minds. Welcome to the realm of the Ancient Ones. You have ventured where few mortals dare to tread. Blackwood couldn't help but feel an overwhelming sense of insignificance in the face of this cosmic entity. Who are you? What is this place? The entity's response came as a nightmarish revelation. I am but one of many who serve the will of the ancient extraterrestrial entities. You have been brought here as part of a grand design. The artifact in your possession holds the key to reshaping reality, and the Ancient Ones will see their plan come to fruition. Dread gnawed at Blackwood's core as he clutched the artifact. We won't allow that to happen. We're here to stop this cosmic conspiracy. Eleanor chimed in with determination. Our knowledge and our machine have brought us to your doorstep. We'll use the powers of the artifact to confront these ancient ones. The cosmic entity regarded them with a sense of twisted amusement. Very well, mortals. Your defiance is admirable. But first you must journey further into the cosmic dimensions. Beyond this city lies the true heart of the ancient one's realm, a place where you will learn the extent of their power. With a wave of its ethereal hand, the entity granted them passage to the next stage of their journey. As they stepped forward, the city faded away, and they found themselves once again within the swirling portal of the machine. Time and space twisted around them, and they were propelled further into the enigmatic realms beyond human comprehension. There they would confront the true depths of the cosmic conspiracy, and their own existence would be forever altered by the knowledge they sought. The sensation of movement through the cosmic dimensions was dizzying and disorienting. Colors and shapes swirled around Blackwood and Dr. Wells, 
creating a disconcerting kaleidoscope. It was as if they had become fragments of existence, untethered from the known laws of the universe. Amidst the chaotic journey, Samuel managed to speak over the dissonance of the shifting realities. Eleanor, hold on to the artifact. It's our anchor in this tumultuous sea of existence. Dr. Wells clutched the artifact close to her chest, her knuckles white. I won't let go, Samuel. It's our only link to our own world. Time lost its meaning in this ever-shifting realm. What felt like hours and days might have been mere moments. Eventually, the tumultuous journey subsided, and they found themselves in a place that defied all comprehension. They stood on the precipice of a vast, surreal landscape. The ground beneath their feet was a shifting tapestry of colors and patterns, as if the very fabric of reality was woven from iridescent threads. The sky overhead shimmered with cosmic constellations that no human eye had ever beheld. This place is beyond anything I could have imagined. Eleanor murmured, her voice filled with awe. Blackwood nodded, his gaze scanning the bizarre horizon. It's as if we're standing at the crossroads of the universe, but where do we go from here? Before them, a path materialized out of the ever-shifting ground, leading toward a towering structure that defied architectural logic. The path beckoned them forward, the gravity of their mission weighing heavily upon them. As they approached the enigmatic structure, a sense of foreboding washed over them. Its towering spires seemed to pierce the very boundaries of the cosmic realm. Samuel couldn't help but wonder what challenges and revelations lay ahead. They entered the structure, and the interior was a labyrinth of winding corridors and chambers. The walls pulsed with an otherworldly energy that hinted at the presence of unfathomable powers. As they ventured deeper, they stumbled upon a chamber bathed in eerie, luminescent light. At the center of the room, a colossal, shifting mass of sentient energy floated. It regarded them with a presence that transcended mere physicality. Welcome, travelers, it intoned in their minds, a voice that resonated with the wisdom of ages. I am the keeper of cosmic truths. You have journeyed far to reach this place. Samuel and Eleanor exchanged glances, knowing they had reached a pivotal moment in their quest. We seek to confront the ancient extraterrestrial entities, Samuel stated. The artifact in our possession holds the key to their cosmic conspiracy. The keeper of cosmic truths undulated in an ethereal dance of colors as if contemplating their words. The ancient ones are beings of immense power and inscrutable motives. To challenge them is to court unimaginable peril. Are you prepared for what awaits? Eleanor's voice was resolute. We are. Our world is in danger and we cannot turn away. The sentient energy rippled, and it began to reveal the cosmic tapestry of the Ancient One's plan. Visions and insights flooded their minds, painting a portrait of the cosmic conspiracy that threatened all of existence. As Samuel absorbed the knowledge, his face contorted with a mixture of understanding and dread. The Ancient Ones seek to reshape the very fabric of reality, to rewrite the laws of the universe itself. It's a cataclysmic ambition. Dr. Wells nodded, her eyes shining with determination. But with the artifact, we have the power to confront them, to prevent their cosmic conspiracy from succeeding. The Keeper of Cosmic Truths echoed with an otherworldly resonance. You have embraced the weight of your mission. To challenge the Ancient Ones, you must venture further into the cosmic dimensions where they reside. There you will find the heart of their power. With a wave of its energy, the sentient being opened a shimmering portal that led to the heart of the Ancient One's domain. It was a gateway to the epicenter of cosmic forces, where Samuel and Eleanor would confront the entities responsible for the impending cataclysm. As they stepped through the portal, they left behind the Keeper of Cosmic Truths, and entered a realm of cosmic chaos and unimaginable power. Reality itself warped and wavered around them as they approached the final battleground in their quest to save their world from the cosmic conspiracy. Emerging from the portal, Blackwood and Dr. Wells found themselves in a place where the laws of physics and reality no longer held sway. The ground seemed to breathe beneath their feet, and the sky was a swirling maelstrom of colors and energies. 
Samuel glanced at Eleanor, his voice a determined whisper. We've reached the heart of the Ancient One's domain. This is where we must confront them. Dr. Wells nodded, her eyes reflecting the strange and bewildering landscape around them. It's like standing at the threshold of gods. We must use the artifact wisely. Their journey led them through landscapes that defied logic. They encountered surreal entities, cosmic creatures born from the chaotic energies that permeated this realm. Yet guided by the artifact, they pressed onward, knowing that the fate of their world rested on their shoulders. As they ventured deeper into this reality-bending dimension, they found themselves before a towering obsidian spire that reached into the swirling mists above. The Ancient Ones awaited within. Blackwood's voice trembled with a mix of awe and dread. This is it, Eleanor. We must confront the Ancient Ones and put an end to their cosmic conspiracy. Eleanor clutched the artifact, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns etched into its surface. With this we can challenge their power, but we must be prepared for anything. The entrance to the obsidian spire swung open without a touch, revealing a chamber shrouded in shadows. Inside, the Ancient Ones waited, their forms ever shifting and indistinct. Their presence exuded an aura of unfathomable power. One of the Ancient Ones spoke in a voice that resonated with cosmic authority. You have ventured far, humans, and now you stand in the presence of beings beyond your understanding. What is your purpose here? Samuel stepped forward, holding the artifact aloft. We have come to stop your cosmic conspiracy, to prevent the cataclysm you seek to unleash upon our world. The Ancient Ones regarded him with eyes that flickered like distant stars. Your world is but a speck in the cosmos, inconsequential in the grand tapestry of existence. Why would you challenge us? Dr. Wells joined her voice to Samuel's, her words filled with unwavering resolve. Because we believe in the value of our world, in the beauty of existence as we know it, we will not allow you to reshape reality for your own desires. The Ancient Ones exchanged a silent communication, a cosmic dialogue that transcended spoken words. After a moment they responded, Very well, humans. If you are determined to oppose us, then prepare for the ultimate challenge. Reality itself began to warp and twist as the Ancient Ones unleashed their cosmic powers. The ground shifted beneath Blackwood and Dr. Wells, and the very air crackled with energies that defied comprehension. With the artifact in hand, they stood their ground, using its power to shield themselves from the onslaught of the Ancient One's cosmic forces. It was a battle of wills, a clash between the human spirit and the Ancient One's indomitable power. Samuel's voice rang out amidst the cosmic tempest. Eleanor, we must use the artifact to disrupt their plan, to push back against their influence on reality. Eleanor nodded, her brow furrowed in concentration. Together they channeled the artifact's energy, sending out waves of disruption that destabilized the Ancient One's attempts to reshape the cosmos. The battle raged on, the very fabric of existence itself at stake. Blackwood and Dr. Wells knew that they were engaged in a contest of cosmic proportions, a struggle that would determine the fate of their world and all of reality. And so it continued, the clash of powers echoing throughout the surreal realm. As Blackwood and Dr. Wells stood their ground, the artifact's energy intermingled with their own determination, creating a barrier of resistance against the Ancient One's influence. The Ancient Ones responded with a symphony of colors and energies, attempting to overpower the humans with their cosmic might. Reality itself was in flux, and the very ground trembled beneath their feet. It was as if the universe itself was a living entity, torn between opposing forces. Samuel felt the strain of the battle, but his resolve remained unshaken. He knew that they couldn't afford to falter now. Eleanor, we must focus the artifact's power. Together we can disrupt their attempts to reshape reality. Dr. Wells nodded, beads of sweat glistening on her brow as she channeled the artifact's energy. The intricate patterns on its surface pulsed with an otherworldly glow, responding to their will. With a collective effort, they sent out waves of destabilization, 
pushing back against the cosmic forces that threaten to unravel the fabric of existence. The Ancient Ones roared with cosmic fury, their ever-shifting forms contorting in response to the disruption. It was a battle of minds, a struggle to assert the significance of humanity in the face of eldritch power. As the cosmic energies clashed, Blackwood couldn't help but wonder about the nature of the artifact. It had been a source of mystery and terror, but it had also given them the means to challenge the Ancient Ones. Its origins and true purpose remained enigmatic. With determination burning in his eyes, Samuel addressed the Ancient Ones. You sought to manipulate reality for your own desires, but you underestimated the strength of the human spirit. We will not yield. The Ancient Ones hissed and howled, their existence a tumultuous storm of cosmic energy. It was a chaotic battle, a struggle where the boundaries between time and space blurred. Yet Blackwood and Dr. Wells remained steadfast, wielding the artifact as a beacon of resistance. In the midst of the cosmic maelstrom, a realization struck Samuel. He couldn't help but think about the interconnectedness of all things, the fragile balance of existence. The Ancient Ones were beings of immense power, but they were also bound by the very laws that governed the universe. Dr. Wells, too, seemed to sense this truth. Her voice cut through the chaos. The cosmic forces are not invulnerable. They are subject to the same rules that define reality. We can disrupt their designs. With newfound determination, they intensified their efforts, their minds and the artifact's power working in perfect harmony. The Ancient One's influence waned, their cosmic power diminishing as the disruption spread. The Ancient Ones struggled against the unraveling of their plans, but it was clear that they were not invincible. The cosmos itself was a witness to the battle, and it responded to the humans' defiance. As the Ancient Ones' powers dwindled, they let out a final otherworldly cry, vanishing into the chaotic energies of the realm. The cosmic conspiracy had been thwarted, and reality began to stabilize. With the departure of the Ancient Ones, the cosmic realm began to regain its composure. The swirling energies settled into an eerie calm, and the surreal landscape surrounding Blackwood and Dr. Wells came into clearer focus. They stood in the heart of a dark tower that pierced the skies, a place where the boundaries of space and time seemed to converge. The air was thick with an otherworldly stillness, and the architecture itself seemed to defy the laws of physics. Samuel and Dr. Wells exchanged a glance, their faces reflecting a mixture of relief and exhaustion. They had emerged victorious from a confrontation with ancient extraterrestrial entities, a feat that few could comprehend. Yet there was no time to bask in their triumph. The artifact's power, still resonating with the energies of the cosmic battle, pulsed in their hands. It was a potent and unpredictable force, one that had bridged dimensions and challenged the very fabric of reality. Eleanor broke the silence, her voice hushed and thoughtful. Samuel, we've harnessed incredible power, but we must be cautious. We cannot let the artifact fall into the wrong hands. Its potential for both creation and destruction is vast. Blackwood nodded in agreement. The artifact had been a source of fascination and dread, and now it was their responsibility to safeguard it. You're right, Eleanor. We must use its power wisely, for the betterment of humanity and the preservation of reality. As they contemplated the artifact's significance, Samuel couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had brought them here. It had been a harrowing odyssey through cosmic realms, a confrontation with the unknown. The eldritch conspiracy they had uncovered now lay in ruins, but its echoes lingered in their memories. The tower itself seemed to respond to their thoughts. Its enigmatic walls shifted, revealing images that transcended human comprehension. Samuel saw visions of ancient civilizations and glimpses of distant stars. It was as if the tower held the memories of the cosmos itself. Eleanor stepped closer to one of the shifting walls, her eyes fixed on an intricate pattern that seemed to pulse with meaning. Samuel, look at this. It's as if the tower is showing us the history of the universe, the interplay of cosmic forces. Samuel joined her, his gaze locked on the mesmerizing display. 
The patterns seem to form a narrative, a story of creation and destruction, of beings and realms that existed beyond the limits of human knowledge. It was a revelation that filled him with awe and wonder. They couldn't tear their eyes away from the display, as if they were witnessing the very essence of existence itself. The artifact's power resonated with the tower, and they became conduits for the knowledge it offered. As the cosmic revelations continued, Blackwood and Dr. Wells realized that they had touched something profound. They were no longer just explorers of the unknown. They were custodians of cosmic secrets. Eleanor whispered, Samuel, this is the knowledge that can reshape our understanding of reality. We have a duty to protect it, to use it for the betterment of humanity. Samuel nodded, his heart filled with a sense of purpose. The artifact had been a source of terror and wonder, but now it represented an opportunity to unravel the mysteries of the universe. We will guard this knowledge, Eleanor, and ensure that it is used wisely. The boundaries of time and space have shown us their secrets, and we will carry that burden with honor. The tower's revelations gradually subsided, and the artifact's glow diminished. The boundaries between dimensions began to blur once more, and the cosmic realm showed signs of returning to its enigmatic state. With a final glance at the tower and the surreal landscapes, Samuel and Eleanor activated the artifact, opening a portal that would lead them back to their own dimension. The echoes of their cosmic journey would forever resonate within them, a reminder of the boundless mysteries of existence. <laughs>